Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. And today's question is, are passports always held during the non-lucrative visa process? And as you will see, if you stay until the end of the video, it depends on every consulate, what policy they have, whether they keep your passport while your uh, non-lucrative visa or visa in general is being processed. Now, let's go with the answers. Just depends on the consulate. Ours were not held, but we applied from Germany, where we were resident. This uh, community member doesn't say which consulate in Germany, as there are six consulates in Germany, but well, not held. New York City consulate, they did not make us leave our passports. And actually, if you go into this article, which is in the video description below, you will find the link to this personal experience of the whole application process for non-lucrative visa uh, in New York City consulate. London, insist on you leaving them with prepaid envelope for them to return. So London is famous because they always keep your passport. I have not heard of anyone getting their passport back and that creates, of course, some friction if people need to travel while their uh, visas are being processed. But if you apply from London, then you know what to expect. Next one, my NLV took one month in August, but I, it was just one application for Alicante region. It, de it does depend where you're moving to, I think, as it determines the Spanish office dealing with it. I applied in London, who seemed quite strict about keeping passports, they say it can be three months. Good luck and hope this helps. I think three months is a bit long, but it could happen. Why not? Edinburgh gave us hours without asking and said they are very busy at the moment. That's good because we really wanted to keep them. Manchester gave us the choice to keep or leave them. That's crazy. Manchester just asks you if you want to leave the passport with them or just like keep it. I would ask, actually... Uh, recommend to keep it just in case you need to, to travel, right? But, well, who knows? Ours were definitely held at London. We are currently waiting for, on our non-lucrative visa. I discussed this with an immigration lawyer. He said <clears throat> they have no right to keep the passport, but you must present passport to get the visa, obviously. If you have an emergency and must leave the country, then you can ask for it. Manchester held hours, took 10 weeks moving to Alicante, stayed positive. It's funny, someone said that before they gave them the option to leave the passport at Manchester's consulate or keep it with them. It's interesting that in this case they held it. So as you can see, every consulate has their own specifics, and, uh, but most of them will actually keep the passport while the visa is being processed. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of the new content that we upload to the video. And if you need expert advice, just go on spainguru.es. You will find immigration lawyers. You will find also tax experts if you need to file taxes in Spain and also in the USA. You will find also relocation services in Spain, apostille services from the US, sworn translators and health insurances when you apply for non-lucrative visa, when you apply for a golden visa, student visa, you will need health insurances as well. And we also offer certificate of good health for the UK residents. And also if you need to go back to the States and you need a health insurance, we also offer those health insurances too. And of course, if you want to be part of a community, please join our Facebook group, uh, Spain Immigration and Residency Questions, Spain Guru. Yes. Uh, with more than 16,000 members where you can ask any single question related to Spanish uh, immigration issues and you can do it also anonymously. You can also join our non-lucrative visa group with more than 800 members, our Spanish digital nomad visa group. Very important, last but not least, please subscribe to our newsletter. You can opt out anytime. We send this newsletter every single Monday morning and we feature top discussions on our community and uh, any news related to Spanish immigration. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a great day. This is Bruno from SpainGuru.es. Goodbye.